Hello once again. Thank you for your time. Again, we have Greg from Dention with us. Howdy. With a couple questions from our customers. Greg, welcome. Thanks, Juan. Yeah, so uh, we'll just kick it right off. And, um, you know, we, we talk with a lot of end users uh, in our day to day uh, operation. And one of the questions that's been popping up quite a bit recently is how do I identify the spindle on my uh, Roland uh, DWX dry mill? Um, and it's like, well, how, what, why do we even need to identify it? Well, because with the release of the new Plus series, there's actually a different spindle. And so it's come up a few times where we need to figure out which spindle the customer needs. Fantastic. Thank you. Now, let's get to it. Here are the components that make part of the ZS52D spindle. We have the brand new tool holder CBH52D. We have the collet CZ52D, the new spindle ZS52D, and the belt ZSB180D. Now let's look at the new ZBH52D tool holder. Now has been redesigned with a thickness of 5.5 millimeters. Current ones have a seven millimeter thickness. Take a look at the comparison between the two collets from the evolution of ZS52D new spindle which is much larger to accommodate the design of the spindle. The taper angle has now changed from a current 8 degrees to the new one 5 degrees, thus minimizing any tool slippage. Comparing both spindles, the ZS52D and the ZS4D, we can see they're both the same size. The new ZS52D comes with a dummy pin attached to minimize any damages during transit with a tool grip force of 1.8 times higher than current. Here's a look at the internal components of the DWX52D+. Not only has this spindle been redesigned on the DWX52D+, series, but also the internal components that drive the mechanism. You may ask, how do I know if I could use the new spindle? The DWX52D Plus uses the ZS52D. Also, emblems on front of the machine stating that the ZS52D is in use, as well as the spindle will let you know that it can be used on this device. Be careful, both spindles are not interchangeable. Well, Juan, thanks for that great explanation. Uh, ha happy, to, happy to be a little more knowledgeable today and uh, looking forward to uh, participating more in this sort of thing. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate it. Hopefully this presentation is useful for you, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us for this Tech Buzz Tip Tuesday. If you have suggestions for a future Tip Tuesday, please email us at dental at rollandga.com.